everybody knows the tale of the giving tree. It's the age-old tale about a tree that gave everything to a boy and asked for nothing in return. In the book, the tree represents the perfect altruistic form, while the boy represents the perfect selfish form. When thinking about the book, I'm often reminded to be aware of what others do for me and to always be thankful. And that's the reason why I have lumber from a 35 inch diameter tree in my basement. The oak tree grew in my parents' front yard and took the crown of being the tallest tree in the neighborhood. By the time I was old enough to climb trees, the lowest branch was 16 feet up. It gave no apples, but it did give the entire house full shade on a hot sunny day. The widest branches reached from the trunk, which was 10 feet away from the front of the house, all the way to the back door. truly an amazing tree, and it grew with an amazing lean towards my parents' house. So a few years ago, my parents decided it needed to get cut down, and I was lucky enough to convince them to keep two eight-foot sections to have milled into rough cut lumber. Our oak tree lived a happy life, just as the tree in the book did. But I wanted to rewrite the boy's side of the story. the tree to know how grateful I am for its presence in my life, how I imagined being 12 foot tall to climb to the top, how I dreamed one of its branches grew directly at my window so I could sneak in and out late at night, how I wondered what the neighborhood looked like 80 feet up in the air. The oak tree helped develop my imagination, so here I am a few years after the tree was cut down, turning the first piece into a part of our family an ottoman tray for my sister, full of its blemishes and some slight cracking presented to the world and not hidden. This will be the first of many pieces that I'm building for my family, my way of saying thank you to the great oak tree in front of my parents' house.